Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is all about well aging for beginners. Now, you know, I prefer the term well aging over anti aging, but they do essentially mean the same thing. This is all about fighting the signs of aging on your skin. But I just like the term well aging because I think it's more positive. It's all about embracing getting older because it is a very good thing. And it's all about preventative measures, not just with your skincare, but with your lifestyle and it can be started at any age and that's what this video is about because I think we can sometimes get the message especially from marketing that anti-aging or well aging is very complicated it really does require overhauling your entire skincare routine and just like doing something completely different and that's just not true anti-aging well aging it's not complicated there's just some few key things that you need to understand so that you can build your own well aging routine effortlessly at any age and that's what today's video is all about so if you guys are so ready to learn my four tips for well aging for beginners give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started <music> So my number one tip for you is to stimulate collagen production on the skin. Now this is gonna be the number one tip for anybody at any age looking to incorporate well aging into their routine. Now collagen, as you probably know, it's the protein that really helps keep your skin supple and firm and like bouncy. It's kind of what holds your skin up, so to speak. Now when collagen starts to decrease in the skin or it gets damaged, that's when you start to see things like fine lines and wrinkles, loss of elasticity, saggy or kind of thin, hollow skin. That is when collagen is starting to decrease. Now you may be wondering when's the best time or the best age to start a well aging skincare routine. And my my answer to that is any time is a great time. Whenever you're ready to start, that is excellent. Because while aging, it's about embracing every new year that we get older with grace and doing it as well as we possibly can, right? However, <laughs> you may be looking for a more technical answer to this question. And I will tell you that your body does naturally produce collagen and that process starts to slow down and decrease around your mid 20s. Yeah, I said your mid 20s, not your mid 30s. I think we think about the 30s as the time when we start to see maybe some of the fine lines and wrinkles start to creep in just a little bit around that time because that's when we're seeing like the results of the loss of collagen, but it's starting, right? It's starting in your like mid 20s. It's a little different for everybody, but that might be a really smart time to think about some of these tips that we're talking about today. Now, if you're past that age, like I said, don't worry. Whenever you are ready is the best time for you to start your well aging routine. So just look for products with the word collagen in the ingredients list and we're good to go, right? Wrong. <laughs> you probably know this because I've talked about this before. Collagen as an ingredient that you apply on top of your skin does not work the way we think it does. It is not an excellent anti-aging or well-aging ingredient. Collagen is a great emollient moisturizing ingredient, but the molecule itself is just too big to penetrate super deep into the dermis and really get down there and really help plump up the deep, you know, fine lines and wrinkles. It can't do it. You are way better off searching out for ingredients that stimulate your skin's natural collagen production, basically signaling to your body like, hey, wake up. We need a little bit more collagen here. Can you can you get on that ASAP? That's what these ingredients do. And those are ingredients like retinoids, niacinamide, some peptides, and of course, vitamin C. Now, big heads up, this portion of the video is sponsored by Purito. Now, vitamin C, this is a pretty wonderful ingredient for well aging, right up there with retinoids. It's a very powerful ingredient with lots of benefits. It definitely can help stimulate collagen production, fighting fine lines and wrinkles and the loss of elasticity. But 
but it's also a strong brightener for the skin. I think that's the benefit we know vitamin C best for. It can really give you a very even complexion. It can also work on melasma and hyperpigmentation, especially leftover from acne marks. So it's definitely really great in that sense to give you that radiant complexion. It's also a strong antioxidant, so it offers a lot of protection for your skin, and it's also photoprotective, meaning in combination with your sunscreen, it's not a replacement for sunscreen, but in combination with sunscreen, vitamin C really helps protect your skin from UV damage. So let's talk about the new Purito Pure Vitamin C Serum. This contains 5% of ascorbic acid. That is the active and pure form of vitamin C. And 5% is really like the perfect percentage if you are new to the ingredient vitamin C or if you have sensitive skin. This is definitely a gentle percentage, but it will still deliver really good results. So the texture of this is a gel type of serum. It's very hydrating with just a hint of moisture to it, but it's not greasy moisture. It just feels really balancing on the skin and it's actually very plumping on the skin too. It does have sodium hyaluronic in it. So it's got that hyaluronic acid kind of like bounce to the skin, um, really just kind of fills it up with hydration. It feels really good. Just a hint, I just detect a hint of tack um, on this when it absorbs in the skin, but this is like nothing that the next layer of skincare won't solve. It's really not bothersome at all, but you know I'm very detail oriented when it comes to my product reviews, so I thought I would mention it. Now, if you recall, Purito did have a vitamin C serum. This is like the renewed reformulated version, and this is a total upgrade. Grade. Now, if you recall, I did review the old vitamin C serum. It was over a year ago now. Um, and I generally liked it, but there were some key issues that I had with the product. And this reformulation, like I said, it's a total upgrade. They have so addressed the issues I had with the old product. The texture is so much better. I mean, the, the texture wasn't bad before, but I just think that this texture has been improved. It's a lot easier to use. Some vitamin and C's can have like weird sort of like oily textures. This just doesn't have it. It's super easy to like slide into any skincare routine, making it particularly good for beginners. But the scent, <laughs> if you saw that old review, you know what I'm about to say because the smell of the old product was terrible. Woof, it smelled pretty bad. You know, it was not scented. There was no essential oils or fragrances. It was just coming off of the natural raw skincare ingredients. But boy, it was a big turnoff and I did not like it. It was a, yeah, it was a major drawback. This, um, on the other hand, has like no scent at all. It does not contain any fragrant um, ingredients at all, but it does not have any of that raw scent. This smells like really nothing. I mean, if you really get your nose in there, you really dig deep, you might pick up a little bit of something, but honestly, I really don't smell it when I apply it to my skin. So like major, major upgrade. I think they did a great job here. So this is a great product to get started with if you've never tried vitamin C before and or it's also really good for sensitive skin. Um, I personally, you know, sensitive skin here, I have a really hard time tolerating vitamin C, a really hard time. Um, I cannot do 10%, I can't do 15, I can't do 20, I can't do 30, but you know what? I can do 5%. I have learned that in the past. My skin is like, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with five, but anything over five, I just can't handle it. So this is actually for me, the sweet spot with vitamin C. This product from Purito, very, very gentle on the skin. Now, if you've never used vitamin C before, just be aware, you may um, experience a little bit of tingling, maybe a little bit of warmth when you apply the ingredient. It's not it's not a sign of irritation. That's just what this ingredient does if you've never used it before. If you're a vitamin C virgin, you will experience that, um, but it will actually go away uh, the more that you use the ingredient. So just be aware, it's totally normal, it happens. But yeah, definitely very gentle on the skin, very effective. I'm impressed at this formulation. I'm really happy that there's no smell to this one. It's got a great texture. So my number two tip is moisture 
moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Yes. Um, I'll tell you, you know, in my family, like if you ask my grandma or if you ask my mom, what was their like top, like well aging skincare tip? They would say moisturizer. Yeah, that is like a Driscoll family secret. That is what they always say. Um, it's really not a secret though. I mean, moisturizer is important in any skincare routine at any age for any skin type, but particularly for well aging, it has a huge benefit. I mean, a moisturizer really helps keep your skin supple and elastic. If you do have fine lines or wrinkles, or if you are noticing that your skin is looking a little thinner, um, definitely a moisturizer can plump those areas up. It can kind of smooth those areas out and make them a lot less noticeable. A moisturizer also aids your skin's moisture barrier function, right? And that's incredibly important for your skin's health. You know, if you don't have healthy skin, you don't have anything, right? That is the number one thing that we always need to keep our eye on. And as you get older, you may notice that you are a little bit more prone to bouts of dehydration or dryness. It is natural, just like your body kind of slows down on collagen production, your moisture barrier can become maybe less strong over time. So aiding it with a moisturizer, I mean, this is skincare 101. It's super important. Now, there's no way that I could recommend for you guys just one moisturizer that would meet everybody's needs. Right alongside sunscreen, it's one of the trickiest skincare products to get just right because it's such an individual choice. I do have a playlist on YouTube that collects all of my moisturizer reviews into one place. You can definitely check that out if you haven't found the perfect one for you yet. But I actually want to focus in my product recommendation on facial oil. So this is the Purito Play Net Squalane Oil 100. And this is actually one of my favorite types of oil. This is 100% squalane and I love it for the texture because it is so incredibly light and quick absorbing out of the skin, non-greasy. This, this oil is actually considered skin identical, which means when you put it onto your skin, your skin recognizes it as its own oil and so it knows exactly what to do with it. it doesn't just sit right on top of your skin but it's actually got some great benefits for you beyond just a wonderful texture that moisturizes it's a great antioxidant and it also helps protect from uv damage it can also help reduce inflammation on the skin and regulate your skin's natural oil production so the texture is mm, so good <laughs> i love this texture it's so light. It's so quickly absorbed into the skin. I mean, just spread this onto your sick skin and it just immediately starts to absorb in a very lightweight and breathable layer. This is not the type of oil that sits on top of your skin. This is not something that like when you kind of like run your finger on top of your skin, you're going to get a bunch of oil back on your fingers. I mean, this just absorbs right in very, very quickly. Now, my favorite way to use an oil like this is just to put a couple of drops into a moisturizer. Because because that's really all you need. This just really boosts the moisturization of your cream. Two, three drops maximum. You really don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long way with this method. And yeah, it boosts the moisturization. It makes your skin feel really soft, super moisturized, not heavy or greasy, but it does um, give your skin just like a really gorgeous glow. It looks amazing underneath makeup. It looks amazing on its own. It feels so good. You know I love facial oil and I use it all the time, but like my choice for summertime when it gets super hot and humid and I don't want thick and heavy layers, is this one because it's just got the most lovely texture. Now this is a huge bottle. This is 30 milliliter of oil and I just told you to use like two to three drops. It will last you a really long time but what's so great is it's actually multi-purpose. Um, so definitely use it on your face, your neck, your chest. You can even use it on your hands. Um, especially great for your cuticles. This is such a problem area for me. I love to put oil on my cuticles. This is a great one because it's non greasy. You can put it on the ends of your hair. Put a couple of drops of this into your body lotion. You want that like real beautiful glowy leg look for summer. Put a couple of drops of squalane oil into your body lotion and you will get that really gorgeous glow on your legs. Multi-purpose, great texture. This is a great product. All it is is squalane oil um, and this is a huge recommendation. I really like this product. My number three tip is 
antioxidants. Oh yes, you can eat them and you definitely should, but you can also apply them onto your skin and they can be very beneficial. Now, antioxidants really help protect your skin against environmental damage, especially from UV rays. Again, this is not a replacement for sunscreen, but in combination with your daily sunscreen, it can really boost your sun protection. I mean, antioxidants just really help protect us from the things that make our skin look older over time. Antioxidants, when applied topically, can help refresh the skin and help it, you know, just look a little bit more revitalized. Now, just like in your diet, you know, um, they definitely do recommend eating a variety of um, different healthy sources of antioxidants. And that's definitely what it is for skin care too. There's not just one antioxidant that you should really seek out to add into your skincare routine. And honestly, so many skincare products already do pack in antioxidant ingredients. So you're more than likely already using some in your skincare routine currently. So like I said, you can find antioxidants in lots of skincare products. The vitamin C serum and the squalane oil have antioxidants in them. We just talked about them. Vitamin C, a powerful antioxidant. But I will point out um, this serum from the Inkey list. It is the Q10 serum. So coenzyme 10 is the antioxidant in here. And this one has actually been shown to help um, improve the depth of fine lines and wrinkles. So uh, keep them from getting super deep in the skin, really helping to plump your skin up, smooth it out. So I love the texture of this because it's actually a creamy serum. It's not a greasy serum, but it does have that kind of creamy um, moisturizing component to it, but it actually does still feel pretty light or medium weight on the skin. It feels great. Um, it's got really great absorbency. It really plumps your skin up. This is like one of my favorite morning time serums because it just like plumps my skin. It makes it feel so comfortable. We've got the antioxidant components in here, which help with UV protection. Like it's just a really lovely serum. It's a great price. Like I said, you can get antioxidants from a variety of sources and you should, but this is one that you should consider um, because it's definitely one of those antioxidants that has some really great proven benefits for helping to fight fine lines and wrinkles. And my fourth and final tip for well aging for beginners is sunscreen. Duh. <laughs> you knew it was coming, right? Sunscreen is vital for an anti-aging or well-aging skincare routine, right? Of course, this product does protect your skin from skin cancer, but honestly, sunscreen really is the number one most powerful skincare product you can use to prevent the signs of premature aging on your skin. It just is. Now remember, we started the video off talking about collagen and that is a very, very important concept to understand when you're starting your well-aging routine, right? Collagen keeps your skin firm and supple and wrinkle-free, right? It's really, really important um, to your skin, right? And as I said, your body kind of naturally starts to produce a little bit less around your mid-20s and then onwards. Well, think about it this way. If you go outside um, and you get lots of sun exposure and you're not protected by sunscreen, the UV can actually penetrate so deeply into your skin that it damages the collagen that you already have on your skin. And that's what accelerates the, the aging process on the skin. That's what accelerates the wrinkles and the fine lines. It's the damage that UV rays do to your collagen structure underneath your skin. So as you get older, your body's producing less, and if you're not wearing sunscreen, you're just allowing the sun to destroy the collagen, the precious collagen you still have. This is why sunscreen is so important for a well-aging skincare routine. The UV rays not only penetrate so deeply into your skin, but they also damage the like uppermost layers of your skin too, causing hyperpigmentation, an uneven complexion, sun damage. This is definitely something that can make you I mean, let's just be real here, make you look older, right? Um, so sunscreen helps protect you from that damage on the top of your skin, the most visible um, you know, damage that you're gonna see from the sun, but it also helps protect that collagen deep within your skin. So do I really need to say any more to convince you to wear sunscreen every single day? 
I don't think so. And probably if you're watching this, you already know that sunscreen's super important and maybe you're already wearing it daily or trying to because the thing is, me just saying wear sunscreen is not as easy as that, right? Finding the perfect sunscreen is complicated, okay? <laughs> and that's why I can't just recommend one sunscreen for a majority of people. It's just not a one-size-fits-all skincare product. Just like I talked about moisturizers, it's super individual. There are so many choices. There are so many things to consider. And yeah, it's a whole video in and of itself. I just did a few months ago like an epic sunscreen review where I shared all the sunscreens that I really like um, and the different occasions that I use them for um, my, my sunscreen wardrobe video. So I'll link that in the info box if you still haven't quite found the right sunscreen for you because the right sunscreen for you, by the way, is the one that you like to wear every single day. It's not like a formula. It's not an ingredient. It's not a SPF um, number. It's not any of that. It's just the one that you like to wear. Um, and that's not something that I can just recommend with one product. I'll tell you one that I like to wear recently, and that is the Isan Kiss Me Mommy UV Aqua Milk. This is a Japanese sunscreen. It's SPF 50 PA plus four, um, and it is a chemical sunscreen. So I like that because it's very easy texture to use. There's no white cast. It's easy to reapply. And this particular one has some sweat resistance to it. It's not super waterproof, but it's enough sweat resistance because it's so hot outside right now. Like when I go outside, walk my dog, I start sweating. Um, and that can definitely interfere with your sunscreen protection. So it's a good idea to look for something with some um, some water resistance to it. This definitely has it, but it's still comfy and easy and comfortable to wear every single day. So thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today. The two products I showed you from Purito, those were sponsored by the brand. Thank you guys so much for the sponsorship. Everything that we talked about in today's video is in the info box um, with links to where you can purchase them. If you're interested in picking those up, it's in the info box. And before you go, leave me a comment. Let me know what are you doing no matter what your age. What are you doing for your well aging routine right now? Let me know in the comments. If you love the video, but you have not hit subscribe yet, and you made it this far in the video and you want to see more from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I release two new videos, sometimes three on skincare. So don't forget to hit notification because you never know when I'm going to surprise you with a bonus video. You don't want to miss out. So subscribe and hit that alarm bell. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Hoping you are healthy, happy, and safe. Cannot wait for you to slay this day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.